For face piece inspection, first identify the size, make, and model. Then, verify the condition of the face piece. Start by inspecting the straps, tabs, and buckles, then the harness. Verify the lens by holding it up to a light source and looking for any scratches or nicks that will interfere with your vision. Next, check the sealing surface, where the mask seals to your face. Make sure there is no visible residue nor any defects that could irritate your skin. After you've checked the sealing surfaces, inspect the inhalation valve and gasket. Verify that the spider gasket is in place. Then ensure that the inhalation valve is pliable by blowing gently into it. Inspect the exhalation valve by opening the lid and verifying that the valve is in place and free of any residue or liquids. This face piece is designed to have multiple cartridges. You have the option to remove and replace the nose cup for a different size or to use a baffle in place of the nose cup, but one or the other must be worn. To inspect the MSA TL, verify the service sticker. Inspect the blower housing unit. Look for anything in the blower housing and any cracks or physical defects in the plastic. Look for the battery connectors and make sure that all three are intact and not broken or bent. Inspect the battery, looking for any damage or corrosion and snap into place. After you've checked the battery, look at the cartridges and inspect the O-rings. Install the cartridges by laying the unit flat and placing a cartridge on top and turning counterclockwise until it drops into place. Hand tighten until snug. Next, inspect the breathing tube by checking that the O-ring is in place. Physically inspect the breathing tube to make sure that it is free from cracks and holes. Make sure that the dog ears are intact and then install the breathing tube into the unit by lining up the raised black line on the breathing tube to the raised gray arrow on the unit itself. Set the breathing tube in and turn. After you've installed the breathing tube, physically inspect the full length of your belt, verifying it is the correct size, checking the locking mechanism and verifying the MSA logo is present. If the logo is missing, request a new belt. To install the belt, slide it through the back of the unit Turn the unit on, verifying the three green lights are illuminated, and then leave the unit running. Orient your chin in the chin cup and then pull the straps over your head. Adjust the straps bottom to top, not pulling one side more than the other. Note, if you are donning an Advantage 3000, verify that the top straps are in the proper location according to your presets. Perform a negative pressure seal check by covering the face piece opening. Inhale gently and hold breath for 10 seconds. Don your PAPR and attach your breathing tube to the face piece and adjusting for comfort and breathing tube alignment. Turn off your unit. Bend at the waist and remove your face piece by tucking your chin in and pulling the face piece down out and away. Remove PAPR blower housing unit.